Santa came to town and I spoke to the man in red himself. He is exclusive interview. Hello, hello and hello. My name is Tino Trevor. Welcome to the English Experience, the place to learn clear, simple and practical English you can use in the real world. It's been a tough year and there's still a few days to go. However, today is Christmas, so we're going to make the best of it. Speaking of making the best of it, I just scored what just may be the best interview of the year, if not of the decade. After a long and busy night of delivering presents all over the world, the man in red himself decided to give us an interview before taking the rest he rightfully deserves. Hello, and thank you for having me, Tino. Hello, sir. Thank you for joining me. To start off this interview on the right foot, what do you prefer I call you? Father Christmas, Santa Claus, Kris Kringle, Saint Nick, or any other name? All of them are splendid. And don't forget, Babbo Natale, which is Italian for Father Christmas. Okay, and where are you from? Well, I can't divulge too much. But I do live in the North Pole, and there is Elf Lane in it. And why live in such a cold place? Hmm, <laughs> just personal preference. But now that I've been doing what I do for so long, a change of environment would be nice. Maybe somewhere around the equator. Hmm. I don't know if I could live there. I'm partial to the warm weather. Moving on, I've been good all year. Will I get a present? Oh, oh. Tino, my son, indeed you have. And I have some wonderful gifts for you and your family. One of which is a lifelong supply of your favorite tea. Okay, okay, good answer. And speaking of good answers, here's a question all the ladies want an answer to. Are you married? I am indeed, and have been for well over 1500 years. Fair enough. Sorry ladies, you heard it. Anyway, moving on. How do you know who's been naughty or nice? For the longest time, my senses. But now, with the aid of a wonderful satellite that orbits Earth and a naughty and nice app. Interesting. And while we're at it, how do you deliver all those presents around the world in one night? What a wonderful question, my boy. I can definitely tell you're a Star Trek fan. Well, I use these special doors that exist all around Earth that act like wormholes so I can get from one location to another location instantly. Okay, and here's a question from one of our followers, Senor Grinch. Some houses don't have chimneys. How do you get in? <laughs> another wonderful question. I use portable transporting devices which basically energizes me from outside the house to inside the house. Why don't you use the door? It sounds like it might be easier. I've had several issues in the past trying to fit through tiny doors. And unfortunately, I was accidentally trod on a poor cat's tail. Okay, on to the next question. What are the names of your reindeer? Well, let's see. How did the song go now? Ah. You have Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> I've seen a lot of deer and reindeer, but none of them could fly. How do yours fly? Well, it's basically the same as Superman. On a serious note, Rudolph really helped you out that fateful night when you were in a pickle. Why don't you give him a full-time job? Well, unfortunately, it takes Rudolph almost an entire year to recharge his nose. There are many ups and downs throughout any given year, and more people could use joy in their lives. So why do you come only at Christmas? I was going to make it a seasonal thing, but quite frankly, magical reindeers are extremely hard to come by. But maybe I should do a survey and see what people say. I understand. And what do you do once Christmas is over? 
one of my favorite things to do is visiting every single country on earth. Well, not dressed as this guy. <laughs> so next time, keep your eyes peeled. You never know, you might spot me. This is another question from a follower, Dr. Scrooge. Have you considered going on a diet for health reasons? A very tactful approach, I appreciate that. And great question. Actually, Tino, you'll be surprised that I am in tip-top shape. I go for seasonal physicals and I am in great condition. Although, now that you mention it, it might be a good idea if I cut back on the mince pies and cookies once in a while. Hmm. I see, I see. And finally, do you have something to say to all the boys and girls that are watching right now? What a wonderful question, Tino. Girls and boys, boys and girls, always remember to be good, to be kind and love your friends and family, to look after the animals and our environment that we all share, and make sure to enjoy all those delicious beverages and dishes out there. Thank you for joining me. And there you have it. That was an exclusive interview with St. Nicholas himself. I hope you found it as insightful as I did. I'm Tino Trevor. Until next time, Merry Christmas. Peace out. You have Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen. Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh.